Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm gonna give you a very quick painting tutorial. I'm going to paint water reflections and it will be just quick. Um, that's why I'm going to use a small canvas and I'm gonna start now. I'm not gonna waste any time. Okay, so I will put first the sky here. I'll just put, um, I'll just make some some uh, trees, um, bushes uh, beside the river so it will be I'm going to put the reflection on the river okay so it will just be quick and always remember everyone that I mean when you put when you paint water reflection it will be whatever you see on the top you should put it down there on the on the bottom like um, if you see the blue sky you can put it here sometimes you're gonna put um, a little bluish or darker um, reflection on the water okay I have here some blue and white Okay, so it will be a very, I think it will be, it will also be a full demonstration of landscape painting. I'm gonna make uh, the water a little darker. Yeah, I'll just use a very quick um, direct blue color here. So mostly on the, uh, on the river or on the reflection, the what uh, the color be a little darker yeah here yeah I'll just uh, make a very plain colors don't want to put uh, plenty of things here because yeah. it will just be a quick tutorial for for everyone okay Okay, so whatever you see on the top, you just have to put it down. Let's copy everything here. There you can see here, it's a little dark. So that will be fine. Then I'm gonna blend here a little more. So they can have a better blendings. Okay, I'm going to put the horizon here. Also, always remember where you put your horizon. So we have to play on uh, pretty well here. This is just a very basic everyone, you know, to paint those uh, water reflection. Uh, if you'll know the, the technique here on how to do it, uh, execute this, uh, do it properly, you can you can do it in any kind of reflection. But sooner or in my next video, I think I'm going to put, I'm going to create more water reflection. So here I have, I have the sky now, and I'm going to um, remember that this part will be the horizon. Okay, so I have here the blue now and I'm going to use some um, red to make some purple and then white. Uh, I want it to be more bluish. So I want to create distance by, by painting some some uh, distant forest here. It will be a misty distant forest, that's why we are using a very light misty colors or, or lighter uh, uh, purple. Okay, so let's assume that these trees are all pine trees. I also like these pine trees because these are pretty cool, uh, sharp looking trees. There. Yeah, and then I'm gonna make a little darker color. You can also put it here. 
but also you can also directly put it here yeah just just follow what you see everything because water reflection is just a mirror image of the uh, what you see on the top so whatever um, design or things there you see in the top just put it down just copy it and put it down there there so let's remember whatever you see there on the top just put it down there and yeah it will look realistic Okay, that's the concept of uh, painting the water reflections. Then always clean your brush. Okay, and then I'm gonna mix for a darker color now. Again, just blue in the raw umber. Yeah, I want now to put dark, not. Uh, yeah, just create horizon there okay so I'll just make the darker colors here I think my paints on the background were still wet so yeah it will be a little problem for this one so we have to create those pine trees And then we'll try to uh, wait. Um, I'm gonna use a smaller brush now. I'll try to use this uh, number two flat brush, raw umber in blue, and then going to put uh, some. Um, pretty um, designs on our pretty leaves on our pine trees okay okay this also some trees here but these are not this will not be pine trees uh, just some ordinary trees I think the background is still wet so on your case you can just let it dry if you don't want the background to mix on your color okay I will put now maybe a little room to let it dry I will use another brush and I'm gonna try to use some bluish color so 
I'll just use blue and a little greenish. Yeah, I'll just make it a little more dark. But I think I'm going to use more blue. A little red and green, more red and blue. Yeah, more blue will be better. Okay, so whatever you see in the top, just put it down on the bottom. everyone whatever you see in the top just put it down you can also make it a little uh, sh sharp blurry thing like this sometimes water is like this yeah I can make it a uh, can create uh, blurry edges like this there Yes, I'm not on the proper way, but we can retouch that. I'll try to let it dry everyone so I think um, the next I'm going to make this much more solid colors here and also here I'll just do it offline so you can see it will be better when I come back and just let it dry and make this so as solid as possible these colors okay everyone so I think um, the paints are dry and I think I, I, I will not put uh, another second coat because I think this is fine for me now because I'll just put tiny uh, details there so it will be fine it will, I'll just cover it uh, with other paints okay so I will put details now I'll start making this um, reflections um, realistic okay I will fit for I will put first some horizontal lines there so here I'll put um, I will I will divide the horizon here with some water disturbance like white so we can also I can see it sometimes when the water is very still okay so I'll be using a liner brush and I will use because this since this background here is white so I'll be using some pure white here okay so I'll just put um, horizontal straights yeah I think it's not straight see okay so can now divide these two colors and then I'll try to put a little uh, water reflection, a uh, water disturbance, water waves or something like that. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll try to put it here. There. Again, also here. I'll try to put some water disturbance. Because this water, uh, this river is very, very still. But I will also put some tiny disturbance there. Okay, you can see now clearly that there's disturbance in the water and it looks great. Okay, now I will be putting some horizontals uh, like river banks there so that we can distinguish the uh, between the reflection and the object. Okay, and those trees there. So I have here the umber, yellow, and red. I'm gonna put some white or yellow. It's a light brown. I think I can put it here. Yeah, this is our rubber banks, everyone. Okay, so these are composed of rocks, soils, muds, or whatever you can see on the river bank. You can also put on lighter colors. Some light rocks there. Okay, and then you can use this color, but uh, I want it to be a little darker. Add some raw umber, and we can put the uh, reflection, just copy it down here. Yeah, whatever you see here, but uh, I want it to be a little darker now because uh, to distinguish between these uh, two colors. And also, some water, also, it will make a little dark uh, water reflection. That, Okay, and then I'll try to put some highlights on the, the trees, putting some plants there. I'll be, I'll be using this uh, number 12, uh, number 8 flat brush. So I'll try to put, make some orange and white, yellow, yeah. Yeah, these are grasses there on the top of this. On the top of that uh, river bank. There. Yeah. And then I will mix for a lighter blue color okay I will make more uh, blue green uh, or yellow green or greenish something Okay, for the highlights of the tree, so I'll put the, all the lights coming from the left side, I assume, and then we'll just, let's make, let's put highlights on these pine trees. There, 
Okay. And also here. Yeah. Yeah, I will try to make this pine tree grow from here. And also I am teaching here how to put, how to paint these pine trees. Yeah, this part is tutorial also. Okay, so again, we are going to follow all the things we see there. I'm gonna put this pine tree. You can make it a waves also here on this part. You can create waves. Yeah, that's the problem that probably know that some of the things doesn't coincide so it's important that all the things should be on the same I'm gonna put some white. I'll try to enhance the colors here. White with yellow. I'll try to enhance the highlights. And then also here. Of course, whatever you see on the top, you should put it on down. Okay, so we can now see those reflections. And then I'm going to use some bristle flat brush. I'm going to put more reflection, but this time I want it to be colorful autumn uh, trees. Whatever you see on the top, put it down. So these are some greens, oh no, red uh, trees. So whatever you see, put it down. So it should be on the same color. try to put some yellowish highlights for this and then here Yeah, and then I'll try to use this uh, 
these light greens here. Okay. Okay, everyone. So that is. I think you can now see clearly those details there. And as you see there, what you see on the top, put it down on the details. Okay, so I will now put some few uh, water waves and I'm done for this uh, video tutorial. Okay, so I will use first some light blue because some of the background of the uh, river because of the blue sky, I'm gonna put also light blue. I just have to put some water disturbance or waves, tiny waves there. Actually, there are, there, are, there are things, a lot, a lot more things to do here, but I will just keep it more simple because I know that most uh, this is actually for beginners. So, as intended, this will be much more easy for beginners. So here, yeah, I will just put more uh, water waves or something, disturbance. Or, yeah, something like that to create uh, little waves for the for the uh, so that we can distinguish that this is water and it should look like water. try to use uh, darker colors like blue so I try to put it here Okay, so I think I am done everyone, so I think this took me um, almost 30 minutes and I think it's a little worth it because for me this is already a uh, good tutorial and it's very easy. Okay, so I, I hope that you learned something out of this for today, you can learn how to paint very easy uh, water reflections, yeah, so we can show that you can paint your own um, realistic water reflection uh, starting today so I hope you get something out of this you can learn your own uh, water reflection you can paint now you can also apply this one on your on your tutor on your uh, painting you can paint your own and okay everyone so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this 
and my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors in palette because I want you to learn how to, know how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.